Um, the RBA started with um, Americans under Schrifel. That's how it started because we were the ones who came to him. And he had Chinese followers and uh, supporters, many. Uh, but they weren't, they had a different function. They were supporting him, perhaps uh, with offerings, certainly with his own needs in the country and with documentation for the association. But they were not the people who were around him every day, all day. Those who were around him for that first period were Americans. And, and so with that came a burden for Shurfu because he had no one around him close uh, who really knew what to do, uh, how to conduct themselves, either as lay people or as monastics. He had to teach us all of that. And also, he was, he was a male. And so for those of us who were women, he would often say it's not easy because there are ways that, that you need to be taught that I am unable to do. And so sometimes he would recommend uh, a, a qualified layperson or he would recommend uh, as things went on and there were more senior nuns, the senior nuns began to take on teaching and helping the, the female uh, part of the Sangha. Um, so for a long time, Shifu had that burden of, so he Shifu, na ge shi hou, wo men ye bu dong de wei yi, wo men ye bu dong de zuo zai jia ju shi shi ying gai zhe me zuo, zuo chu jia ren shi ying gai zhe me zuo, yin wei wo men mei you, zai wo men de wen hua bei jing mei you na ge, yi ge ya jia ren ta ye hui kan dao, chu jia ren hui kan dao miao, wo men duo ban de mei you, so yi ke yi shuo na ge an kai shi, wo shang qin Shifu de fu dan shi bi jiang zhong, 当时呢华也说回来我们是非常非常我们对那个要修行是非常有心心对师父跟佛教也是非常坚固所以也有好也有不好刚开始后来大概到一九九零年那个时候我们去台湾开一个佛学院之后开始有一群一群的那个雅者人进来那然后啊师父也讲早早都给我们讲如果佛教要杀根在西方那他来是为了佛教要杀根在西方必须要有雅者跟西方合作必须要有那个已经了解佛教是怎么回事跟不了解但是很有信心很有兴趣的人合兵佛教的那个根才可以杀得很坚固师父 told us and then the Asians came in it was uh, in 1990 we went to 1989 we went to Taiwan and established a Buddhist academy and then you know tens, twenties, thirties the, the, the Asians began to come in uh, to the association. And Shurfu told us all along before that happened and, and certainly after it happened that, that this was a very important meeting between West and East. Obviously Shurfu came here, here to do his Buddhism because he wanted to put Buddhism's roots into Western soil. Um, and he had us, and we were very faithful to him and very eager to practice. Um, and when the Asians came, they brought with them a knowledge that's sort of in the language itself and in the customs and in all that they had known. Most of them, their, their amas, their grandmas would go and bow to the Buddhas, and that all was part of their culture. And so they brought a stability of continuing um, Buddhism as it was practiced. And we brought curiosity and uh, eagerness and a lot of naivety to it. And the two had to come together. And he said when they came together that the Asian stability of knowing what a monastic life was like and how to be a monastic person and how to carry on the functions of Buddhism and this 
young eagerness to learn and to do, that that would be a very good combination. And I see the RBA doing that. I see that happening. The pendulum, I think of it that way, sometimes swings so there's more Westerners, sometimes swings so there's more Asians, but we have so many, we're really international, we have so many countries represented and so many nationalities represented and we keep moving forward. And I believe that combination he talked about is working. Mm -hmm. Chinese about this part. Oh, uh, or so, uh, um, 其实发展它也是可以说是国际性的会因为呢韩国家的人就来出家或者做在家居士那他自己把他的文化什么都来那我们都是要合作要和平所以我想我自己认为发展实在不是中国也不是美国也不是西方也不是东方它是国际性那国际性也有一股力量 okay. How different is DRBA from other Buddhist groups or organizations? 我不太知道因为我就是留在师父的桌上他给我们这么多事情做我很少会去别的地方我可以说这个回答你那个问题在我所了解我们所行所做的师父要我们所行所做的是无漏的行为就是说所以有的人说很 新的样子基本的师父要我们做无漏的那个行为所以我们天天要拜佛天天要回上功德天天要打坐回上功德天天要发逆回上功德我们是帮助世界但是呢我们是用无漏的那个方法也不是说我们弟子是没有漏当时那个方法师父给我们如果做得很圆满那就是栽培一个无漏的功德那有的佛教会他有别的兴趣要帮助社会啊或者呢要做一些服饰啊是比较有漏的跟无漏的我们不要说一个好一个不好那不是我的意思就是一个慢慢的一个思绪所以也可以说要有缘分你才可以来到师父的桌上跟着师父的他的那个道风他的传统那如果因缘不足的话还有很多机会在别
then they're just not ready and you can't force that. But they can go to another Buddhist group which is helping the world or in a way that they can embrace, a way that they can recognize. And so they go there and they amass merit, which I would call merit without flows. But eventually it brings them at some point in some life to have the conditions to want to do this kind of more serious and less obvious kind of helping the world. Okay, tape ends. Tape ends, I'm talking too much. No, 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 no. Uh, I have lots of tips. <laughs>